Today I will be reading a story called Doppy at Christmas. One night at Christmas time, grandfather called his grandchildren to come to him. He wanted to tell them some Doppy stories. Rufus and Gussie had heard many Doppy stories from their grandfather. They loved the stories and believed all of them. When grandfather came to the end of his first story, he took up his pipe to get a smoke. But there was no tobacco in it. I can't tell any more stories if I don't get a smoke, said grandfather. Rufus, you and Gussie run to the shop and get some tobacco for me. Since it was Christmas time, Rufus and Gussie were glad to go on the road. They saw some other boys going to the shop and they had a wonderful time on the road. When they reached the shop, they heard people talking about Miss Matty. Miss Matty had died two weeks before. The people believed that Miss Matty's duppy was walking around at night in a long white dress. She had frightened a lot of people. Rufus and Gussie were very frightened. They did not know how they were going to get back home. Rufus bought the tobacco and they started to run back to their yard. They moved as fast as lightning down the road. I hope Miss Matty won't trouble us, Gussie shouted as they ran. Soon, they passed the last street light on the corner. The rest of the way was full of black shadows. Rufus was very frightened now. He was running and looking around in the shadows for any sign of Miss Matty. Just around the corner, a big banana tree was growing by the road. The shadow of the banana tree was right in the road. As the boys came around the corner, the shadow of the tree started to move. The boys nearly dropped down dead. Rufus's eyes nearly jumped out of his head. Help! Gussie shouted. Doppy! Miss Matteo! Rufus shouted. He dropped the tobacco and the two of them ran bawling down the road. They did not stop until they reached home. Grandfather heard the boys bawling and coming. They were so frightened they could not talk. He had to rub them down with white rum first. After this, the boys told him how Miss Matty's duppy nearly killed them at the corner. Grandfather laughed. That must be the shadow of the banana tree moving, he said. A tree like that used to be there when I was a boy, and the same thing happened to me one night. He put his hands on the heads of the boys. You must not believe the duppy stories so much, he said. Maybe I should stop telling them to you. But we like them, said Rufus and Gussie. We just have to tell ourselves that they are only stories. The end. I hope you liked the story. If you did, please remember to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe if you have not yet done so. Then you'll be the first to know when I upload more Jamaican primary school stories. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.